Grand Friday. TGIF. This is a reading for the weekend. Mm. <laughs> okay. So my husband is back at it. Amazing reading he did this morning. And um, it's interesting because the cards he had reminded me of Venus going through Hades, through Capricorn, in retrograde, and coming now, marching forward towards Aquarius, which will happen on March 6th, when Mars enters seven minutes before her. So Mars is leading the way. So interesting because Nell did his reading first today. He's leading the way. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, we've all been through it. Our hopes were 2022 would be different. And I know January was utter hell for many. Um, it was for us as well. It's, December wasn't much better. But, um, yeah, his reading um, very much lines up with the astrology and what's going on. So, the focus needs to be us internally, mentally, physically, and the planet physically and mentally. That's the advice. Focusing in on health of ourselves and the planet. Physically, mentally, spiritually. Everything. Okay? So, I love that reading he did. That was uh, fantastic. Anyway, here we go. This deck today. That's what they asked for. That's what I'm going to give them. <laughs> you know me. I listen to my team most of the time. <laughs> Yeah, and I usually kick myself in the ass if I ignore them. Mm hmm Or they kick me in the ass. One of the two. Whew. Okay, so I don't know why this has started happening, but they want me to cut this deck before I start. So I will. Okay, I heard you. It's up there. All right. We're going to start with that. All right. It's cut. <laughs> Shall we? <laughs> Overall energy for the collective. Overall energy for the collective. And it's interesting. I want to tell you a really quick story before I really get going here. Um... I just so happened to have a live feed for a tornado chase that was happening yesterday. Mississippi or Alabama. Anyway, um, the reading I had before had predictions of fires and tornado. Or tornadoes. And those came to pass. Um, and I couldn't resist saying something about it. Oh, that was in my reading. And, um, you know, that there could be tornadoes and stuff. And one person commented, um, what was that? Uh, they were predicting this in the news on the weather. Well, I don't watch the news, so um, I had no idea. So, but those of you that have seen my readings prior know full well that the accuracy is there about events in the future and predictions. My husband does not like doing predictions. I do, however. That's my forte. <laughs> anyway, um, so uh, that was, you know, you could have just, well... 
In other words, insinuating that I'd seen the news and gave that reading based on that. You guys seen my predictions right down to when and where on volcanoes and uh, uh, we'll do air quotes, the Starlink satellites that went over um, Devil's Tower and where they come came from and when. It was in my reading. So, um, you guys know my accuracy. So, when somebody naysays me now, I just, um, yeah, you just don't know. You just don't understand. And then someone else said, uh, said something about I was smoking something. <sighs> oh, anyway, so dealing with... We're all dealing with that, with people that don't believe us, even though we're absolutely 100% truthful. Um, they can't help that they've been programmed, and they can't help that they can't believe in magic, that magic exists, that their abilities actually exist because everybody's been told and shamed out of having them. So, uh, yeah, I just wanted to comment on that. Um, they'll see the light of day eventually. I hope it's in a positive direction and not a negative one. Um, <clears throat> my husband and I watched a um, remote viewing of 2024. Well, the end of 2023, 2024. And it's not a timeline we want to see. It's uh, not very um, good. And so we have right at two years to change it. Or, well, actually about a year, right? Because it's 2022. So we've had some time to change that timeline. And I think everybody needs to focus on that. Anyway, we'll get started with the reading. Um, my husband and I still are planning to do a reading or a video together explaining what's been going on with us. Um, hope you understand, um, well, the hell we've been through. So that you understand we're not immune to the energies playing out. Um, and we'd love to listen to your stories and how it affected you all. Because, uh, yeah. Woo! <clears throat> yeah. It was um, a difficult time. And I don't think those difficult times are over. But the way we approach them um, makes a difference. Okay? All right, so the overall energy for the collective. Overall energy for the collective. Overall energy for the collective. <laughs> they keep sticking there on that last one. Stuck. Hangman energy. Hmm. Seeing things from a wider perspective. Okay. <sighs> Overall energy for the collective. <laughs> They're still doing it. <sighs> Overall energy for the collective. That's 
funny because that was on the bottom of my husband's deck. Justice. <clears throat> That's our overall energy. What's the highest priority for the collective, please? Highest priority for the collective. Highest priority for the collective. Highest priority for the collective. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> all right. <laughs> It's a lot, but we're taking it because I know it's valid energy, and it's what many of you are going through. All right. Holy cow. It's going to be a lot of energy. <clears throat> That's our highest priority. I just looked. They want me to take it. Bottom card. Okay. Going with the intuition. Going with the gut on this. Whew. Underlying. Walking away from what you previously built. Something emotionally attached to. Okay. New beginnings right underneath. Okay, that's good energy. <sighs> Overall energy for the collective. Our Lady. <sighs> Justice and fairness. <sighs> this could have to do with contracts. Could even be soul contracts. But, um, so some of you, this um, overall energy could be about court. It could be about fairness, energy, justice in the macrocosm. We're all looking for it, right? <sighs> That's the overall. Our highest priority. Interesting. We've got Major Arcana. <laughs> All three slots. The sun. For some of you, this is quite literally your sun. If you have one. If not, this is enlightenment, happiness, childlike energy. Joyful. Okay, it's interesting because um, I woke up at three something, two or three, I think it was 2.35 or something like that this morning. In utter um, what would you call that? Bliss. Um, not just bliss, but um, gratitude. Utter gratitude. I was shooting love out to the universe, love down to the planet and everything on it. All of you. I woke up that way. I'm like, what did they just tell me that was such good news that I felt like that? Decide. Happiness. Judgment. Heeding the higher calling. Making a judgment call. Emperor, control energy. Fathering energy. B. 
victory. That's quite literally what that card is. Being seen. Success unfulfilled. Victory over success unfulfilled. Unstable efforts. Seven of Swords. Sneaky eeky. <laughs> Ghosting. Princess of Pentacles. Earth sign. Incoming message from an earth sign, possibly, or learning about the material world. Learning via some sort of fast incoming communication about a chosen path. You got the world in your hand and you're staking your claim on your dominion. So, um, the highest priority is enlightenment about heeding a higher calling about your dominion. What is your dominion? What are you ruling? What do you have control over? Being seen. You want victory. The emperor wants victory. Right? Over success that's been unfulfilled because of unstable efforts. Our sign bringing in messages about the claim they're staking, the future that they're looking out for. Where is their kingdom, right? For some of you, this is quite literally a sun that is going through some changes. For others, this is you yourself going through those changes and restaking your dominion. It's revisiting. Okay. Anyway, incoming messages from an earth sign about dominion. Yours or theirs are all of ours. And mindful of or prepare for <sighs> the path ahead, that path right there leading to the sun, your enlightenment. <sighs> this is the patience card, temperance. Waiting for the alchemy to begin. So, it can feel a little hangmanish. Remember, the cards kept hanging. And that's what I was saying hangmanish energy, waiting patiently for this energy. and some fairness. And I think the highest priority is to focus on your enlightenment or your son and take the high road, okay? Don't get down in the quagmire at all. Take the high road. Walk away from what no longer serves. Abandon 
those cups for a brand new beginning. Okay, there's that path, brand new path. Interesting energy, because that path is <sighs> steering through that divide that's happened in the past, trying to fix the division, okay? Whew, interesting energy. Hmm. All right, so that's what we got going on energy for TGIF. I hope you have a really fantastic um, weekend. I may do a reading through the weekend. I'm not sure if I'm called to, but this reading will cover that. Um, let me take a quick look at the planets with you all real quick because I think um, it's interesting to look at. All right, so for today, I have the moon over in Scorpio. It's coming out of being full in Leo. And so she's waning, heading towards justice. Okay, you know that moon's going to be there before you know it, over the weekend. So that definitely is weekend energy. Because we, start, we started out with Lady Justice. Um, those cards definitely align with the planetary movements, no doubt about it. We are all affected by this energy of the holodeck matrix whatever you want to call it the grand clock in the sky the wheel in the sky right um here's the thing mars and venus are still in hades in hades realm capricorn with pluto okay remember the messenger just entered aquarius the sun's still in aquarius they're still together, okay? And they're marching towards Aquarius. Marching towards heaven after coming out of hell. So we don't have long now. Patience. Because March 6th, Central Standard Time, these two, Will enter Aquarius. Then it's game on. <laughs> Just saying. Um, we'll look at the Saviour Mysteries picture. Um, I included this in the last reading. Um, it's what gave me the energy of the tornadoes that were going to be happening. Um, and the tornadoes did indeed happen at night. Um, they were telling me the nocturne that this the fires and stuff at night, the tornado at night, just as they told me. And on cue, that happened. Um, but for me, this is Rising Phoenix energy today. And it matches up with my husband's death card. Um, this is us rising from the ashes after being in hermit mode in the cocoon for entirely too long. It's time to patch ourselves out, up, physically, mentally, spiritually, and get ready for um, what's ahead, basically. So, as you can see, Aquarius, 28, 29 degrees, okay? And the sun is getting ready to enter Pisces. Okay, uh, let's see, that happens tomorrow, well, yeah, the 19th, tomorrow. So we're leaving Aquarius season, and the sun enters Pisces tomorrow. Um, and the moon will indeed be in Lady Justice, so that reading definitely seems to reflect tomorrow. Um, based on the cards and the energy I'm looking at here. Um, this is what you're looking forward to tomorrow. Um, interesting because uh, Jupiter is at 11 degrees in Pisces, the sun at zero, and Neptune 
at 22 degrees, which is just double the 11. Uranus is at 11. Um, hmm. Interesting energy. Now, see how these guys get out of sync just a little bit tomorrow. Mars and Venus. A little bit out of sync right here. That's just for a moment. He's slightly out ahead of her. Like I said, Mars is leading Venus out of hell. Okay? So, um, that's the energy. Uh, let's go ahead and look at the Sabian Mysteries picture for tomorrow. Since um, a field of artith in bloom. See, the sun um, is leading leading the way into Pisces. Um, the red planet. You can also think of it that way. <sighs> but our focus is the sun tomorrow. Um, and that's the first card, Major Arcana, and the highest priority. So... Put your focus on enlightenment, taking a higher calling, taking the high road, and being seen, okay? Anyway, um, we'll just look at one more day. Let's look at Sunday's picture. A public market. Being seen. Getting out. Okay. Getting out there. Okay, it's time to quit hermiting, get out of those cocoons, mend up, cheer up, and um, yeah, all systems go very soon, coming March 6th, um, like the temperance card states. Just wait for that alchemy because it's coming. So you need to focus on yourselves right now. Heal up and get ready. <laughs> anyway, I hope you have a grand day. Like I said, this reading's about Saturday and Sunday more than it is today. So this is kind of a prep for what's coming. And I think my husband's more of today's reading. Yeah. Anyway, I hope you have a very good weekend. Um, if they call me to do a reading, I'll do it. If not, see you later. Okay. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.